David, it's great to have you on the show today. As I mentioned, the market ending the quarter on a high, up 1.2% today. Your thoughts on what we've seen over this week? Thank you very much, Wale. Uh, good day. Nice to be with you. Just like you mentioned, the market uh, has actually uh, ended uh, the third quarter of the year very, very positively. And as a matter of fact, the All Share Index has climbed to a new height, uh, not seen for about uh, uh, two years. And so it's been a very positive uh, end of the third quarter for the market. And as a matter of fact, uh, the index was driven to the level at which it closed today, principally by the heavy demand on Dangote cement. Other stocks, uh, very high cap stocks, uh, also gained uh, substantially today. Nigerian breweries was up by about one naira sixty kabo. Uh, Unilever was also up. Zenit Bank also went up, and GT Bank also went up. So those uh, are actually high cap stocks that are capable of setting a direction uh, for the market, and that was what they did today. They stamped their authority and they drove the all share index of the equities market to a new high level of over twenty six thousand points how significant uh, is that time. how significant is that 26000 point mark i mean we continue to hear about psychological levels 25000 24000 now that i see 26000 your thoughts on where it can go from here yes uh, as a matter of fact 25000 was the psychological level which we saw last i think in 2010 uh, ever since the market has uh, wobbled uh, around uh, 20 22,000 points as uh, the, the region of a dynamic equilibrium. And so with the All Share Index uh, overshooting that psychological point of 25,000 points, uh, it does appear that uh, the market has uh, uh, gone to another level of, uh, of, uh, of development. So where, but how far can it go? I mean, I ask again, 26,000 today, 27,000 by the end of the year, your thoughts? Yeah, well, it's difficult uh, to predict uh, the direction of the market. Uh, generally, we are moving into the last quarter of the year when, according to the uh, previous trends, the market ought to slow down. But that uh, may not uh, happen, considering the state of the, the, the macroeconomy. Uh, I listened to your report a while ago when you said the uh, foreign reserve of the country has uh, overshot 40 uh, billion uh, dollars a point. Although also other indices in the macroeconomy are very, very positive. The power generation uh, has gone up. Uh, the, the, the power is much more steady now, driving the productive uh, economy further. And we also have um, declining yields uh, in the fixed income market, which in the case that financial assets are likely to continue to, to, to pour into the equities market. And so even uh, although this is the period of the year where we expect the equities market to slow down, but considering all the positive uh, factors in the macroeconomy and also in the fixed uh, income market, what, what the trend may probably not be repeated at uh, this time. Of course, so of course, the market can still uh, grow further. And our positive, of course, is the inflation number down to 11.7%, and many expecting that it would trend lower. And so, like you just did mention, yields in the fixed income market are also trending lower. So, all positive for the equity space. So, in this environment, how do you pick stocks? Which stocks look exciting to you going into the fourth quarter? Yes, uh, right now, as a result of the heightened uh, demand for a number of stocks, especially those um, that uh, are multinational. Uh, it does appear that uh, a lot of them have uh, grown beyond uh, their fundamental values. And so if... Um, so are you talking about the likes uh, of Nigerian uh, breweries, Nestle maybe? Yes. Because we know that those are very high-priced stocks right now. Yes, exactly. A lot of those uh, high-priced uh, stocks, uh, you mentioned one of them, have actually surpassed their fundamental values. A lot of them are trading... Uh, uh, below uh, a, a dividend yield of about 3%. Yet we still have some stocks um, in the banking sector and also in the agricultural sector that uh, still have uh, intrinsic value. 
And so those are areas I believe uh, investors uh, will probably start shifting uh, attention to. But let's uh, talk specifics. Forward. Let's talk specifics. So you mentioned the agri sector. So I imagine you're talking about Presco and Okomo Oil. Yes. Presco and uh, Okomo Oil have uh, untapped uh, potentials. If you consider the fact that the uh, Nigerian economy is uh, now being built uh, uh, around the agricultural value chain. And so the, the potential for growth uh, in that uh, sector remains uh, uh, very much untapped. And so it's an area that investors will look at. Again, we cannot discountenance the banking sector because uh, that sector had always uh, occupied the commanding height of the equities market. Uh, the sector became beleaguered as a result of uh, what uh, we saw in the past uh, when the, the meltdown uh, and also the margin loan crisis uh, drove down that sector. But I think that sector uh, has uh, more or less recovered now. Uh, more value is being built uh, in that okay. sector. Yeah. All right. So Thanks so much, So it's not unlikely, David. therefore. Uh, okay, okay. Well, we look next. forward to seeing how the fourth quarter um, plays out. It's up 20% this quarter. Hopefully, it has been a profitable quarter for you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to speaking to you sometime soon. David Andoni is General Manager at Lambeck Trust and Investment.